Hello and welcome back to part five in the MFT uh, SR48 upgrade build. And today we are going to pull out the old broken, um, ripped up um, little fin supports, turning fins, and we are going to be installing the newly 3D printed ones that I designed and printed that are much, much better than even the upgraded uh, Atomic Mods one. So what I did is I remodeled everything in Tinkercad, and as you can see, much thicker, uh, made it a little bit thicker on the base, but definitely the big part is a lot thicker, and you can see that. And uh, the plastic that I printed with is the Slant 3D um, Supermax PLA. I really like how this is, how how tough this stuff is compared to regular PLA, and even compared to this uh, plastic, much better than stock. Obviously, I mean, look at how thin stock is compared to this. I mean, just get a good look at that. So this is going to hold up a lot better. And the other thing that I also did is I went to uh, my local Ace Hardware store and picked up uh, one of these teeny tiny washers that is going to be sitting on the screw just like this. And um, this is going to be a really tight fit, so I really like that. Um, but it's going to sit like this and also help add a little bit more uh, rigidity to this connection so yeah um, before I get started with the video and uh, go on what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how awesome the um, E6000 is and how easy it is to remove so as you can see I put it all the way around and on the screws and stuff so uh, I'm gonna take my screwdriver here um, with you guys watching and we're gonna go ahead and take them off so you can also get a really good view on just how tough this stuff is look at that and I mean it's coming off really nice and neat and that's the other thing that I want to show you guys is just how neatly it's gonna come off so as you can see it keeps together pretty well and you just tug on it give it a nice good tug and as you can see here it's just it's coming off beautifully so once we get this second one off I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like um, and look this thing is already breaking off so clearly I put too much pressure on it but that's not gonna be a problem with the new um, the new fin mounts so look at that. Once we get the screw out, and it's going to be a lot harder now that I've got this um, mounted in here. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Yay for me. But uh, it just comes right off. And then this part right here, I'm just going to peel it off really, really neatly. So you see that? It just comes right off. doesn't leave any marks at all. And look at that. Just a really smooth, clean uninstall. And now I'm ready to put the new one right here, just like that. And then I'm going to redo the E6000 around it like I did, but I might just do it around just the base. I don't know. I'll see. Um, so that this clear stays on there and looks it's already I think it looks really good um, but anyway I'm not gonna bore you guys with that so that's what I'm gonna be working on in this video we're gonna do both sides and uh, go from there so stay tuned and here we go alright so you can barely see what it's printing there because it's uh, I'm using clear filament but uh, let me see if I can shine a light on it there we go now you can see it printing so I'm printing out six uh, because I just want to have backups but they are looking really really good so far and I've got let's see over here we have 
an hour and eight minutes left on this and uh, I'll show you guys the uh, finished product all right we're about eight minutes into the uh, print process and it's already looking really really good uh, let me zoom in on here yeah they're looking very very nice I think they're this is gonna be exactly what I need and uh, they're gonna work out very well so uh, on we go And through the magic of video and editing, both are installed. Um, the glue has cured, and it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with how that came out. And they're very, very strong. Um, I'm not surprised, but I think it does look really, really good. So... Uh, that's with the uh, turn fins installed and now on to the inside um, what I'm going to be doing right now is um, getting this motor ready to install and cleaned up um, and then we're gonna prep the shaft and the um, coupler that's gonna hold the shaft and the motor together and uh, we're gonna get that installed uh, next so before I install the shaft I just want to show you guys really quickly um, the difference between the stock shaft and the new shaft and as you can see uh, there's quite a difference here the stock shaft is really really skinny all the way down and the new atomic shaft is much much beefier a lot stronger can handle a lot more um, so that's just an FYI and now before I install the shaft I'm gonna take my grease here and I'm gonna do this um, just get a little dab on my fingers and then just work it all the way down up until the metal part but not uh, not up here because uh, that part is going to go into the coupler and I do not want that to be greasy or slippery. So this is what uh, the mock-up of the rear is going to look like. So we've got the uh, propeller that still needs to be bored out but the end tip has more than enough grab um, so it's it's gonna look really really good I'm very happy with how that came out and as you can see I've still got a little bit of the uh, the blue Loctite on there I'm gonna clean it up a little bit but it's gonna look really good once I get that uh, get that propeller bored out and uh, to the proper size all right with a little bit of persuasion and some grinding of course now this goes all the way in and sits very firmly so we're just gonna give it a little bit of space just like that and then we're gonna secure it really really tight with um, our favorite favorite friend Loctite blue Loctite and then once we get that in we're gonna put the collet over it not too tight though because we want to be able to get the um, uh, the shaft in easily the flex shaft and then we're gonna pop it in the boat and we are finally at the end of part five in this build series and I've already got 
uh, the motor installed, I've got the wiring, the cabling done, I've got the new battery location with the strap, and once again, do not use the straps that come with this boat. They are crap. These are uh, just the cheap straps that you can buy from Lowe's um, along, right next to where you get this 10-pound um, uh, locking. Um, it's not Velcro, but it's, it's locking tape. Um, I really like it. Uh, that works the best. It's wet or dry, so I recommend using that and a little bit of um, super glue to hold it in place because it's not going anywhere ever. Um, but anyway, that's what that looks like. Here is the finished um, turning fins with the 3D printed part. Came out really, really good. I'm very happy with it. It's very sturdy. It looks really nice. I like having the fins on the outside and they don't move at all. I mean, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on there and they're not moving at all. So I am very, very happy with how these turned out. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you want more details on how I did everything and um, what I did to the motor, uh, more details about this part, the coupler, and um, the fitting and everything, um, please click on the links that I'm going to have in the description eventually uh, for my Teachable, uh, where I'm basically going to hold your hand through the entire build with many many details um, but that's coming in the future so uh, it's not going to be in the description right now uh, but it is going to be in the future so keep an eye out for that and thank you so much for watching um, I hope that this has uh, helped you at all and inspired you to build up your boat but um, with this, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, uh, and in part six, I'm going to be installing the board out um, propeller, and we're going to uh, get the battery in here, and um, just basically finish off this boat, get it into the water for testing, and ship it on out to my customer who is eagerly awaiting his boat. Um, but thanks again for watching. Uh, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.